going to appreciate the work that you did, Cornem, because we're live. That's right. Uh, hello, everybody. This is Rosinchi here. Another exciting day of acoustic rock. Like, nobody's here yet. Whatever. We can probably call them heart faces and they wouldn't care. Go. Oh, wait. There are a couple people here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Wow, I guess they were they were excited. They were just waiting. Hello, Red Queen. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well I mean, you know, this this is the highlight of the weekend. It is. It is. It, it's it's the highlight of the weekend where I show up and insult everybody on accident. <laughs> Oh, well, even even more than the highlight of the weekend, it's... Oh no, it's Sunday. That means Monday is tomorrow. It does mean Monday is tomorrow. That's so dumb, Corndam. So everybody here, get ready to cry for tomorrow. Oh, NPC is weeping. Okay. Uh, that's always good. Always good to make him shed tears. <laughs> Oh, Corndan, we've got some good games for today. Uh, we haven't revealed them quite yet, but we will in just a little bit. There are some good games for today. And that definitely isn't literal, okay? Do not take that literally, anyone. If you do, you are sorely mistaken. How many of these dates have I not managed to finish? So oh, time will only tell. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> well, uh, you know, there, there's, there are a couple, but yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and worry about that later. Also, apparently, there's a state here that other people were able to do just fine, but I had a huge problem with, so. Yeah. That's true. I, I mean, yes. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it when we get there. I'm looking at one of the images that I used for one of the games, and I don't... Like, I think I know what it is. Oh, oh, there it is. It, it, it took a little while, because it definitely did not look like what it was from the game. Okay. So it's good to remember what we're actually playing today. Oh, Corn Dan, Corn Dan, I, what, I, what are you up to these days? Uh, getting ready to move. My house is a uh, maze of boxes right now. Oh, jeez, that's how my place is like a year after I move. Well, we can't do that because my brother-in-law is coming to visit us for Thanksgiving. You can ha have him unpack for you. How about I that? I could. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's quite possible I could I could do that, um, <laughs> but I'm not going to. Aw, come on! It's called forced help. Uh, no, no, Justin, it's not called that. No. Uh, it, you know, you can he, he'll be doing you a favor, and then he'll feel good about it. You know, he'll feel great. He's like, wow, I helped Corn Dan. <laughs> Oh, no, I, I want everything moved in and, and unpacked and everything before he shows up. Fine. I guess. That's fine, Corndan. Okay, go ahead and be the square that you are unpacking I boxes. Will. Well, right now I'm packing boxes so that in a couple weeks I can unpack boxes. Oh, okay. Cool. Are you getting a moving truck at least? Uh, yeah. Are, are you getting any help? from people, or are you just going to walk am. in out? I am. Uh, I've got a couple of co-workers who have offered to come out and help, or we may just, you know, hire a moving company to move all the big stuff. Ah, yeah, that would... If next time I move, I'm totally going to do that. I don't care. I'll pull out every penny of my savings. Because <laughs> I get tired really quickly. <laughs> you know what? Well, I, I, I mean... Oh, I think for us, the, the nice thing is that I don't have to do it all in one day. I, I have like a month to be out of our current townhome. Oh, sweet. So, you know, I can pack up like the car full of boxes, go into work, 
go buy the new house on the way home, right? Unpack all the boxes, come back, load up more for the next day. And I, I could do that for a couple of weeks if I needed for to. a year? Not a year, just a month. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, it's time to announce the games. Let's go ahead and move on over to that. Uh, so, yeah, we have ten challenges that you're going to be able to go through as many of these as possible in an hour. What challenges do they have? Well, here are the games. We've got The Legend of Prince Valiant, The Terminator, The Simpsons, Bart vs. The World, Aztec Challenge, NSYNC Get to the Show, Fighting Masters, Last Battle... Justin laughed when I said NSYNC, by the way. <laughs> He's like, why? <laughs> Uh, title Match Pro Wrestling, The Wizard of Oz, and Jim Power, The Lost Dimension in 3D. So, so was the game you were confused about Prince Valiant? Uh, no, it was NSYNC. Like, I looked at that, I was like, what is it? <laughs> like, because I was the one who made this state. But, like, I was looking, I was like, is that hair at the top? And no, it's his eyebrows. His eyebrows right there, okay. So, just so people know, as we're going through this, uh, through the gauntlet, whenever somebody completes a state, for example, if they completed NSYNC Get to the Show, uh, then I will click on that, make it dark, and that means that it has been completed. All of the ones that are still lit up have not been completed. Let's say they completed four, uh, that would be considered four out of ten defeated. Now, generally, if both players have completed four challenges uh, by the end we have an overtime to see who can complete the next challenge so that that's more or less how it's gonna go okay let me go and check because I believe they're both streaming Arr. I'm just checking with them to see if they are good with overtime in the case of a tie, but both of them are streaming, they're live, streams look beautiful. Let me go ahead and work on getting the audio ready. Goodbye Commodore 64 music. Oh man, there's so much good Commodore 64 music, Corn Dan. That's what life's there, about. Commodore 64 music is either really, really good or really, really bad. Oh yeah. Like, like there's very little kind of in between i'm sorry i did not name the characters in pro wrestling okay <laughs> <laughs> like i'm sorry as soon as we popped it up people are getting offended <laughs> let me guess by skinhead and big chief yeah yeah mr mean is not quite as questionable of a name i like mr mean mad dog's a pretty good name but we'll, we'll go ahead and Ignore the names on the left. Ah, the soothing sounds of Simpsons video games. There's nothing like it in the world. <laughs> I, I mean, at least, at least this isn't Bart versus the Space Mutants. Uh, that, that's true. Uh, by the way, they're actually both ready to roll. We might be starting a few minutes early today. So, uh, let me go ahead and let them know just that they need to load the state as soon as we say go. We're doing the countdown in Discord right now. Wish them the best of luck. They can't read it, but they can get... They feel your vibes, I promise. They probably don't, but whatever. Okay. And there we go, they have been told to go, so they may load the state ASAP. And it looks like Gene Genie is off to fight Veritasu, jumping into Bart. So, here is the goal for Gene Genie. The goal is to pin the opponent. 
Wait, did Gene Genie actually just do it there? Uh, it looked like it. Holy crap! Uh, okay. Well, good for them. It, it, it is the thing for Bart uh, to finish the Great Wall of China? Uh, it's to finish the Great Wall of China and then beat the boss. Gene Genie's goal is to beat the stage here. Now, neither of these will be kind. I'm actually absolutely shocked that Gene Genie was able to do that, because I played multiple minutes and never managed to get a pin. <laughs> Which, you know, my, my thinking was, oh, this might be the hardest one. Yeah, I, I was not able to pin anybody in that. That was amazing. Okay, Veritasu is getting through the Great Wall of China, doing pretty well. The big thing is, this one just takes a little while. Gene Genie is, uh, having fun is the lion. The lion is so ugly in this game, okay? Yeah, like, is that a teddy bear with, with like, a bad haircut? Essentially. Okay. He, he's so cute? No, he's not. Unit Kitten, like, I appreciate your optimism here. Oh, and there goes Gene Genie. <laughs> so, I, I think that Wizard of Oz is one of the harder states. Uh, I think Terminator is also fairly difficult. I had trouble with it uh, when I was training it out. Okay. Um, partly because I kept screwing up one of the jumps that's in there. Yeah, I, I can imagine Terminator is not going to be the easiest challenge that they take on. Let's see, Veritasu is getting fairly close to completing the wall, I believe. And then after that, it'll be the boss. It's just... Mike, you, you probably do know which jump here. Oh, jeez. Gene Genie, here's the deal, okay? I feel like this level is only really reliably possible if you get the floaty shoes, which I did not give them for this state uh, in the Wizard of Oz, but those will help you fly across the stage. So, it, in essence, Gene Genie has to do it the normal way. And yeah, it, it's not it's easy. It's definitely doable, as long as you're careful. Uh, it, there's a lot more platforms available in that than it oh looks like. Oh my gosh! Okay, Gene Genie, you almost died, but that's okay. You're you're back in this. You're climbing to the top, and there we go. Gene Genie is through. I'm actually really shocked. Okay, well that is too. Veritasu is currently fighting Burns here. He's gotten a couple hits. It's a little bit hard to know when you can hit Burns here. There we go, Veritasu completing the challenge there. That's good. Um, Gene Genie's off to the last battle. <laughs> this this is one of those that is extremely difficult. The goal is just to beat this boss. Uh, the thing is, if you know what you're doing, you can beat it extremely fast. But if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to get wrecked. It looks like Veritasu is jumping to the gauntlet. Specifically, Aztec Challenge, the goal is to beat the challenge. Up is jump, down is duck. <laughs> Can you run side to side? Uh -huh. No. Up is jump, down is duck. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my gosh. This, this is off to a good start. Yeah, welcome to Commodore 64, everybody. This is AAA gaming that we've got. Whoa, Gene Genie got destroyed. The bad thing about Aztec, uh, the Aztec challenge is that every time you die, you have to go back to the beginning of it. I, I think that this one's pretty fun. Like, the sprite is so goofy looking. Oh, especially when he dies. <laughs> when you jump into the spear. I love it. Like, you know, the sprite's so goofy looking just because it's a two-frame animation? Yeah. That's essentially how I'm animated, you know? When I'm running. 
This is why most it. people haven't seen me run. It's it's hideous. The thing is, like when I've done this game specifically Aztec Challenge, you you make it a good distance into it, but then you start getting stressed because it's the exact same thing throughout the whole thing. But you start getting stressed because you know one mistake takes you back to the beginning. Gene Genie is doing very well with Blast Battle, by the way. Very nice strat here. Just ducking and punching the crotch. Oh. Yeah, that's. I, I mean, it, it, it's not the fastest strat, but it's definitely safe. I would prefer safe over speed. Oh and, and it makes. It makes sense that it does a lot of damage. I mean, you're just punching the guy in the crotch. And Gene Genie is right. your last battle. Holy crap. Yeah, Veritasu, he's through. Yes, very nice, Veritasu. Wow, they're both getting through tons of these challenges quickly. This is definitely nicer than the last gauntlet that we've had, but that's okay. We have it, it, more nightmares. And they're both very good, too. Uh, you know, I was always surprised by both Veritasu and Gene Genie in the group stages that basically no matter what sort of bad stuff I threw at both of them, right, they did very, very well. Oh, yeah. They were both in your group? They were. Sweet. It's always good to have them coming back and having some fun together. It looks like Jean Genie is doing Fighting Masters, which we all know and love. Veritasu going with Terminator. So the goal of Terminator is to get to the two driving bosses and defeat them. Whereas Jean Genie just needs to get best two out of three with this fight here. So what are your thoughts on especially Terminator? So, uh, Terminator, I kept falling down on those moving platforms because the game gives you the momentum of the moving platform. And, and so when you, um, when you jump and it's moving to the right, you don't make it to the edge. Yeah. Ooh, Gene Genie has a pretty good strat against Valgasu. Stun and then throw. That's the way to do it. Now, one thing that Veritasu is missing out on is that you can press select to swap from the gun to grenades, and that's how you have to get rid of those little guns that are um, basically at knee height. Oh, really? Yep. I mean, I guess I just ran to it and shot down. Okay, Jean Genie gets one win. Let's see if they can get a second one. Yeah, Veritasu is going with some of the... Oh, Jean Genie got him. Holy crap. Yeah, fight, Fighting Masters is one round. Okay, I'm letting Jean Genie know they are good. I thought it was best two out of three, but I guess I was mistaken. That's okay. Jean Genie is jumping into NSYNC, get to the show! So, the goal of this is to... Uh, go and select everyone who is not an NSYNC member. No, everyone who is. No, Who's not? You you select the dog, you select the girl with the hair, the TV, the... Oh, because get... I, I, I beat it by selecting all the NSYNC people. What? Yep. Oh, seriously? I thought that you had to get 30 out of 30 at the bottom right. Well, you, so you have to you have to select thirty in sync guys as they pop up. So as we go on right to stages, the, the further stages, you're gonna you know starts with thirty, then it'll be thirty five, and it goes all the way up to fifty. Yeah, see, Gene Genie got through this stage to round two, selecting not the end sync members but everybody else. Oh, huh. Maybe you either have to do the NSYNC members or the others. Maybe I it's one or the other. Yeah, I, I did know, the anti-challenge. I, I, I totally tested that state and hit all the NSYNC guys. <laughs> I love it. That That's <laughs> really strange design, but hey, it works for me. And I beat it in, in the whole thing in one go. 
Good job, Corn Dad. <laughs> See, I actually think more NSYNC members appear than the others. And that might have been what made it more difficult for me. Gene Genie has just 10 seconds left. Yeah, I think it's going to be difficult to get there. But let's see. Four left! Veritas, who's also on the first flying boss? Uh-oh. Okay. And we're on to a robot. So, so I, I, I did beat this Terminator state on accident. Oh, really? Right. Well, yeah, because I had no idea what I was doing when I got to this point. Like, I didn't know that, that did you could Veritasu move the win? angle of the gun. Uh, Veritas, you did. Oh, good job. Uh, and, and I literally killed the one flying guy trying to figure out, trying how to avoid him, so I was moving back and forth, and somehow I kept shooting him correctly. Okay, I messaged Veritasu to let them know that they are good, and they will be moving on to the next game. Looks like Gene Genie is still doing the not NSYNC members strat. Oh, geez, this music's sad. This music's amazing. It's good. It's good stuff. But I'm turning it down. Okay, it looks like Gene Genie ran out of time, stuck on round two. I wonder if they're gonna keep doing this or move on to a different challenge. Yeah, if, the thing is, if you go for anti NSYNC members, hitting an NSYNC member actually lowers your count, as far as I can tell. Yes, and, and if you go the other way around, hitting someone who's not NSYNC lowers your count. Okay. Yeah, this is surprising. This, this is absolutely shocking me how fast both of the players are going through some of these. Because we've got almost, we've got seven of the challenges uh, defeated already. We're just working on the last three here. I, I, I noticed that everybody is avoiding um, Jim Powers so far. Yeah, probably, probably a good choice. Gene Genie is getting through round two and on to round three, but this is Gene Genie's last life as well. Ooh, Veritas is getting dunked on. <laughs> Balgasu is kind of a butt. I love this music, though. It's so good. Yeah, they've all completed different challenges. That's what shocks me the most. So, Gene Genie's goal is to get to round five and finish that. However, doing it this strat, uh, not getting the NSYNC members, but getting the others, may actually be bad. Maybe I maybe there's enough. I don't know. I don't know either. I, I mean I legitimately don't know. Look, this is why I chose this challenge, because it was being really hard for me, but that's because I think I accidentally gave myself uh hard mode because I was selecting the wrong ones. <laughs> yeah, when I was playing through this and like this is so hard. Uh, and I and I went to play it. I was like, I, I've done in like thirty seconds. What's going on? Yeah. Okay. Gene Genie is jumping to Bart versus the world. This one is not too difficult. I feel the boss is kind of butts to figure out, but other than that, it's fine. Uh, yeah. Either. So as far as I'm aware, either you select the NSYNC members or you select everything that's not an NC member. And that's, that's how you play it. Oh, Veritas got dunked on! <laughs> I love it. Yeah, the score is absolute value in that, and it's so weird. I've never seen a game like that, Corn Dan. Oh, GG neither... into the pit! Yeah, it, neither have I, um, but you're, you're better off selecting the NSYNC members, which I had trouble with because I had no idea who the heck the NSYNC members were. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that, that first level where you only have to get 30, I you know, you just start selecting ones and go, okay, that one gives you a minus, right? So don't select that one anymore. It's and, it, and it seemed to work. 
everyone who looks like they're in a 90s boy band. That's... Like, the guy with the jerry curl doesn't look like a boy band member, so don't select him. You just need to learn your boy bands, Corgan. It, it's true. Is it cheating to Google the NSYNC band? I don't think so. Yeah, Proton John, the racers are not in chat, so you may spoil and chat about strategies as much as you want. By the way, Proton John and Smite, I'm ready for your match tomorrow night. We've been cooking up something special. One button is for the character that are NSYNC, and the other button is for those that aren't? What? Are you serious, <laughs> Proton John? Oh my well, gosh. Well, while we're talking about this, uh, Veritas, you defeated um, their game. They're going to move on to something else. I'm letting them know they're good. Okay. Letting the credits play out a little bit. Uh, okay, so... I had no idea that that's how it worked for NSYNC Get to the Show, but apparently one button is for the members and one button is against the members. <laughs> well, I, I had no idea either. Okay, Veritas, we're moving on to last battle. I like that nobody has touched Prince Valiant yet. Uh-oh, Veritas who got the clones. See if Veritasu um, figures out the punch in the uh, punch in the crotch strategy. Did Gene Genie just finish it? Yes, Gene Genie is through. Very nice. Letting them know they are free to move on to their next state. Congratulations, Gene Genie. Gene Genie is still holding a pretty solid lead, five to four. Uh, you know, depending on how Veritasu does with Last Battle, that could definitely quickly change. And Gene Genie's gone on to play the Terminator. Oh yeah. Veritasu is trying crotch punches. Ooh, and I think he learned about the, the clones. Do not punch the flashing cape. <laughs> I love, I love this, just... You get punched in the foot, bam, quarter of your health gone. Well, I, I mean, maybe they're sensitive to their foot. Maybe they broke their foot, like, punching people or kicking people in the face earlier. It's true. I mean, that's right? why he punches. Much more than kicks. Well, so, so you punch, you know, you, you get punched in a broken foot, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> Gene Genie is having a hard time aiming. me. I love it. So, so Gene Genie so far has had trouble on the same platform that the, the smoothing platform here. Yeah, I, I died once there. Uh, I can see how it's a little bit difficult. It, it, you know what? It's just all about bad timing. If you yeah. start your jump over the gap as that starts to move to the right, um, you get that momentum too. <laughs> I love that then, if you're. Like, you can't shoot the barrel of the gun, you have to shoot the body of the gun. I don't know, there's so many just small, dumb things about Terminator, okay? <laughs> oh, and there goes Gene Genie, taking a death. Not a huge deal, though, you know, it's... Uh, honestly, they have cleared so many challenges so quickly, taking a little longer on a challenge is fine. Okay, Veritasu almost dead. Oh, and got sucker punched. Yeah, so this is essentially how anime would work if you were a normal person. Uh, most of the time you'd go up against somebody and then bam, get double cloned and you're dead. True. Double clone, no, just, just I, I suppose single clone. If it was you double you clone, could be double cloned. I, I, I mean, if you just keep punching that um that that towel on his arm, are are, are we just fighting a pool boy? <laughs> it's like, wow, you look a little wrinkly. Here, let me help you out. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, the the music is so chill in this. Veritas, you're going to be hopping over to a different game. We've got wrestling. Uh, he's going with skinhead, it looks like. <laughs> Probably well, not the know. best name for anyone, but, you know, that's what we've got. <laughs> oh, Veritasu, very nice. Is this going to be a pin? Oh, he almost... <laughs> this is hilarious. How are they doing this? Clearly, you're just bad at this. I'm, I, apparently, I'm just bad at video games. But this is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> this game is amazing. Yeah, Veritasu, here's the deal. I think you have to have a certain amount of strength left in order to pin them. So, just beating them up, even though you got beat up, is not going to work super well. So he's playing title match pro wrestling for the Atari 7800. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so honestly, I think reloading the state to get his strength back would probably be the best idea. I love Could that be. the enemy moves like a screensaver as well. That's probably my favorite thing about this. <laughs> uh, so Gene Genie is off to um, the second um, robot. Ooh. And taking a death there, Pins. not a huge deal. There we go, I think Gene Genie is through. I could have swore it said pins for bear Hmm? Uh, <laughs> this is going yeah, pretty Ver fast, but we have a few of the challenges that are going to wreck them. So Veritasu was pin. Oh, uh, Veritasu was pinned. Yeah, Veritasu got pinned. I think Veritasu pinned him. Very nice. We've got another pin on Veritasu's side. Is this Prince Valiant? Yes, it is. Didn't we have a match end in 10 minutes? I think during the Tuso Grande, yeah. Now, yeah. Gene Genie is playing Prince Valiant at this point. Yep. And the goal here is to defeat Punch Bear. Do yes. we get to see we, the bear? We... Yes. So, um, what we're looking for, Genie, we didn't tell them where they need to go. No. So, uh, and, and, and uh, Gene Genie is going the right direction, uh, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Now they're gonna they're gonna go. What they need to do is just basically go through that first door that they went through and then just keep going left and taking the farthest door they get to. <laughs> Otherwise, I love they'll get lost. Power. Sorry. I'm, I'm oh, like, no. Jim Power is great. Yeah, they have to def like beat the three maps here uh, that are in the Time Tower. So, yeah, we, we've seen Veritasa get partway through map number one. I mean, the top-down stages like this for Jim Power are, are doable. You just have to be careful. Oh, yeah. I I love Jim Power, though. Okay, unironically, I think it's a fun game. It's it's pretty terrible in ways, but I, I think it's fun. Wow. There we go. Veritas are grabbing a one-up. There are a few one-ups throughout the stages. Let's see, so Gene Genie, is Gene Genie going the right direction at all? No. Okay, nope. cool. Barrels, oh, this is the barrel trap room. Oh, this is bad. Okay, yeah, Gene Genie is going to have to reload the stage, what I'm guessing later on. Okay, Veritasu through map one, moving on to map two. I love this challenge so much. 
the, the gym power. The thing is, we're gonna get even dizzier in just a little bit, so get excited. There we go, Veritasu picking up a time bonus. You do not have much time in these stages as well, so like I understand that Veritasu is trying to go slow. Go as slow as needed, but don't, you know. I, I think that early on it's fine to go slow just to see where you need to go. Okay, G &G. I mean, fortunately, when, I, when you're at the time tower, right, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Genie has switched to the gauntlet and Aztec challenge. <laughs> What's nice, it appears that dying in gym power actually resets your time. So that's that's convenient, I suppose. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, Veritasu made it through the tricky uh, spinny part. There are a few of these. Now this is the end of map two that Veritasu is getting to. Oh, well, maybe. I love how far back it puts you for that death too. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> oh, this game is so good. No, oh, there we go. Putting them back. Gene Genie getting a spear to the leg. To the other leg! <laughs> so many spears! Oh, geez. Veritasu is just not enjoying this section. Well, I, I can't blame them. Oh, not at all. I love it. Oh, my gosh! You can do it, Veritasu, I believe! Everybody, oh, give your strength. Yes! Yes! Okay, Gene Genie is going through the gauntlet. Now, one mistake resets all of your progress in the gauntlet, so it's very important that they learn uh, to, how to watch the four different areas that spears come from. Essentially, the way that I did it was I just focused on the main character and looked with my peripheral to see where the spear was coming and how high it was. Ooh, Veritasu! Unfortunately, having to start the state over again, not a surprise, it's Jin Power. But now that they've done it, they know what they need to do. Yes. Right. They're, they're, they can speed through and uh, pick up the one-ups. Yeah. The, the rest of it don't really matter. Yeah, now, John Michael NPC is the one who set this up, or I suppose NPC lives. Uh, and he opted to give them two lives. <laughs> well, I mean, you do get a bunch of lives. It's true. I, I just love it, though. One up. Oh, boy. Okay, Veritasu, don't... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, so... I'm always stressed when I watch Jim Power. I love the game. It's so stressful. Ooh. Veritasu taking a death, not a huge deal. So, I, I mean, the, the, at least the plus side of this is the uh, the time tower levels, right? Ooh. Don't, yeah. Don't require the, the reverse parallax scrolling, so it's not so barfy. Well, it depends on who you are. I think these are more barfy than the reverse parallax. Well, I mean, these are barfy for different reasons. Yeah. So everybody, if you didn't, you know what? I was feeling nauseous yesterday just watching the games, and none of those words barfy as Jim Power. I'm completely fine today. Also, Jim Power is a notorious bitrate killer. Uh, oh my gosh, Veritas is starting to run out of time, and one death, not a huge deal. You get time back. Just watch out for the bouncy thing. Oh, and Jean Genie is through the gauntlet. Very nice. Well, Jean Genie only has three challenges left. And we get double gym power. <laughs> this this is, is almost 
almost as much of a bitrate killer as Double Mohawk. Oh my gosh, that would be a nightmare. Ooh, there we go. Gene Genie already losing both lives. See, I I, I can understand why Gene Genie is not grabbing the one up. It doesn't look like a one up. But it says one up on it. Well, I mean, it says that, but. Look, they're too busy vomiting everywhere to really notice that, you know? So much vomit. Has yeah, Mohawk this... been in Kuso? Yes, it's been yes. in Kuso once. It's also been in a gauntlet. I remember that. Veritasu is... I don't know what they're doing. Probably just, like, taking some Dramamine or something. Which, would that be allowed if taking motion sickness pills? Sure, sure. It, is that performance enhancing drugs? <laughs> I won, but only because I wasn't vomiting everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I think that would be the case, um, you know, if we ever had a four person mohawk race. Oh, jeez. No, Veritas has just got to grab the clock. Very nice. Okay. I was worried that there was going to be a death there, but after Gene Genie is in section two here. Veritas, who uh, taking it nice and slow during section one, they want to conserve as many lives as possible. Gene Genie gets a game over. Not a surprise. What's Mohawk? Mohawk and headphone jack. It's going to be... Uh, it's a vomitous game, okay? If you've never gotten motion sick from the video game, you need to play that. Because that will teach you things you never knew you never knew. In the words it, it, of Pokemon. I, will, I mean, I will argue it's a technically, like, technically, it's a masterpiece. It's amazing. Right? Yeah. The, the the algorithms the guy wrote to, to do all of that on the fly, right? Plus the whole, like, how to deal with gravity and everything is... Absolutely amazing. Veritasu barely gla grabbed the clock right before running out of oh, time. Man. Wow. This is good. That was amazing. Yeah, on a technical level, Mohawk and Headphone Jack is amazing. Uh, uh, on a playability level, I like the game, right? But, I mean, the game is interesting, but, you know, you can't watch more than one person playing at a time. Well, you can. It's just you die right after. Immediate death. Okay, Veritas is getting low on time. They're probably going to take a death here. That's not a huge they've, deal. They've got five lives. Oh, there was a clock! <laughs> <laughs> I love this game. It's so good. Gene Genie having a bit of a hard time in section two here. Now there is one whole new section. Veritasu. Oh, Veritasu's through onto section three here. Just gotta finish this section and the challenge will be done. Yeah, Mohawk and Headphone Jack is in Awful Block for AGDQ. I fully recommend watching that if you've never watched it. I fully recommend also looking away whenever you need a break. I, oh! I will say, though, P PJ does a very good job at running that game. Yeah, PJ is fantastic. Oh. Uh, you, you know, I, I, I've, heard, I've heard this said that basically... Uh, the selection committee finally called PJ's bluff on Mohawk. <laughs> Essentially, yeah, they're like, no, you don't really want to play this, do you? Wow, Gene Genie is almost caught up to where Veritasu is in the challenge. Only one extra life. It's a little bit worrying, but it may be fine. We'll see. Honestly, it seems like Section 2 is probably the worst part of this challenge. Ooh, Veritasu uh, taking a couple quick deaths. Going back to the checkpoint. Yeah, it's not over until it's over. And there's...
Veritasu getting through the challenge. Very nice. Wait, did Gene Genie do it too? Yeah. Holy crap, this is like blowing my mind. This is ridiculous. Good grief. Okay, uh, Veritasu and Gene Genie moving on to another challenge. Gene Genie has two challenges ahead at this point. Uh, it looks like Veritasu is opting for the Wizard of Oz, which is doable if you go up left and grab those floaty shoes. <laughs> you can do the challenge extremely fast if you get those. Now, of course, they don't know that. Yeah, right, they, this so is some of the worst music in the game, just so everyone knows. See if Gene Genie can, um... Oh! They're, uh, they're on the right path now. Okay, sweet. Gotta hit the so... target, not the beehive! Oh no. The bees are gonna be angry. So they hit the target, and now they're gonna... The bees will continue to harass you until you leave. Yeah, the bees are not very happy right now. So there's no indication, at least where you're at right now, that you need to just keep going left, right? Yeah. Oh, the barrel! <laughs> <laughs> Out of nowhere. Oh, and there goes Veritasu down into the pits of despair. So now, with, with Gene Chidi coming out of that, they can see um, the gate that, that should should open up when they hit this target. Now, they don't know, because when I gave this game out in the group rounds, neither one of them played it. So, what Gene Genie doesn't know is hitting that target opens the gate to the left. Yes. And by missing and stirring up the bees, there are an infinite number of bees that will come harass them. Oh, bees are cool. Just let the bees come have fun. This music! I hope you all enjoy this. The music is like 50% the reason I chose this stage. <laughs> also because it's precision platforming in a game that doesn't do precision platforming. Oh my gosh. So, Gene Genie seems to think here, based on what I can tell, that they need to go deal with the bees. But Very I think they just not figured through. out. Holy crap. Like, I'm, I'm absolutely shocked at how both of them are doing. All right, so Gene Genie has made it through, right, um, everywhere they need to be. Nice. Uh, so right right now, they are uh, basically solely on, there's only one path for them to go. Cool. The The bees are attacking. They're, they're certainly coming to get them. It looks like Veritaso is going with NSYNC. So... Gene Genie is almost there, uh, but they don't recognize. There we go. They they you're right. How to use the um, the jump pad? You have to hit the jump button every time you get to the bottom. Yeah. You know, I think it would be extremely funny if it came down to end scene. I would die laughing. Oh my like, so god, Gene Genie. <laughs> Do well, this, so the bees! They, they, they can actually avoid the bees by literally taking that platform and just running off. It's right, punch and they'll hit bear. the bottom platform. Oh my it's gosh. Punch bear. Punch bear time. Everybody get ready for the bear punch! It's coming! You you know punch bear is gonna do it. Oh punch punch! Oh boy. Wow. Gene Genie is actually doing pretty well. Oh, well, so the the best strategy for Punch Bear is literally to get him, get in his face and stab him all the time, no matter what. Yeah, I could I could see this. Oh, apparently this is easier if you learn to chop. Uh, uh, apparently, I never learned it. 
BAM! <laughs> there goes the sword. I love it. Veritasu is doing pretty good. Again, they do not know that you can get points with the NSYNC members. This is exactly how it went for me, Corn Dan. Well, so here's the way I look at it, right? Veritasu is, um, you know, basically one and a half games behind. Right? But based on how Gene Genie was doing with NSYNC, like, it's still anybody's game right now. Oh, yeah. This is so dumb. Yeah, it looks like Veritasu is trying to figure things out. Because this challenge is so dumb. Okay, Gene Genie using the rope. Ooh, not happening. I love Punch Bear, though. Okay, he's a hero to most of us. Punch Bear is a national hero. Ooh, the double arrows. I love that room. I think it's impossible to dodge damage there. Uh, if you wait until after the second arrow set goes, you can you can dodge. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, there we go, Veritasu losing on round two. I'm not too surprised. I... Again, this is how it went for me. I just made the sound that the NSYNC members made, okay? Unikitten. I'm just emulating my idols. How does the NSYNC game work? It kind of does. <laughs> <laughs> I love it! Uh, Corn Dan, did you know this game is made by Infogrames? Well, that's not surprising. <laughs> Ooh, Punch Bear! Taking Gene Genie down. The music is so intense! Oh my gosh, Veritasu beating round two, on to round three. Yeah, without knowing how to get rid of the NSYNC members, there's no beating this challenge. And, and who'd have thought Punch Bear being, uh, problematic? Oh, well, it's Punch Bear. Ooh, Gene Genie learning how to do the, the chop. Good job. Oh, Punch Bear! Just barely! <laughs> uh, punch Bear! <laughs> oh, jeez. Punch Bear's the best. I love Punch Bear. Yeah, there's just not much time left for Veritasu. Oh, oh! Gene Genie beat Punch Bear! What? Oh my gosh! Well, it is gonna come down to NSYNC then. <laughs> Get ready to enjoy this. <laughs> For the next 15 minutes. Uh, po very possibly. Unless Gene Genie figures out how to get points off of the NSYNC members. But I think that they've already decided, avoid the NSYNC members, get everything else. Can you imagine if, if Veritasu leaves this, does the other two challenges and comes back, and our tiebreaker is who beats NSYNC? That would be so funny! <laughs> <laughs> I remember everybody was like, wow, this is too easy, you're just dumb, bro, Sancha. All of the other Game Masters. There we go, Veritasu. Taking a death. It looks like they're going to be loading back up. Yeah, it's interesting that they haven't tried both of the buttons.
Wait, Jean Genie has learned both buttons. Jean Genie up to 60 out of 30 points. I think Jean Genie's got this. I think it, we're I think we're gonna be done. Wow. I'm kind of surprised this is ending up being a full clear day, but hey, I'm cool with that. Yeah, the you know thing... what? It came oh, down to the speed of that pin, right? Um, you know, some of these just went really fast. Yeah, I'm honestly shocked that the pro wrestling went as fast as it did. <laughs> I, I, I'm i mostly shocked at Last Battle, because I did not expect that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 71 out of 35. Uh, the thing is, like, if you don't know what you're doing, this challenge is hard. Gene Genie knows. Veritasu just has not figured out how to clear it. The music is so bad, Gordon. I hate this music so much. <laughs> so much rage it's, in my body. It's not the worst, but it's not very good. This is not the fastest gauntlet win. It will be for uh, this tournament, but in Tusa Grande we had faster faster clears. Sorry, my, my brain is dying. Yeah, Mike, back in Tusa Grande, we didn't exactly know how to balance things. We also didn't know how to give absolute butt uh, challenges to people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Drink. gosh. Well, have they gotten to the show yet, Corn Dan? Um, soon. Right, Gene Genie's almost at the show. Man. I hate this music. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Look, Infogrames could make some good music. This is not one of those tunes. Hey, this is better than... I'd say it's better than their other stuff, but no, man. Even the Game Boy Color 1010 music's great. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. I think Gene Genie one more is round. on to the final round. Yeah, I think if we had actually had the manual for this game where it tells the controls, this would have been a, an easier challenge. Eh. I mean, uh, yeah, but part of the challenge was figuring out what this game, what this minigame even wants you to do. The game itself tells you the controls, well... Wait, you have to turn that feature <laughs> on? Well... The well, well, Proton John, we didn't do that. Yeah, about that. Okay, as soon as Gene Genie runs out of time, I'm calling time on this game because we are right there. And then I'm gonna... Stop this music. I hate this music. This music total butts. So you got like three seconds. Okay, I'm, I'm calling that good. We are done. Holy crap, Corn Dan. We got a full clear on Gene Genie's side. That was crazy. Yeah, that was nuts. But seriously, fantastic job, Gene Genie. I, I was not expecting a full clear today, but we got it. Okay, hello, Gene Genie. Welcome. Hello. Hey, how'd things go? Uh, not too bad. 
Well, well considering that you beat all of them, yeah, I'd say not too bad. Wow. Like, I, I'm, honestly, I'm kind of surprised how both of you did. Okay, uh, uh, Veritas. Same here. Yeah, that was that was a blast to watch. Seriously, congratulations, Gene Genie, on clearing everything. Veritasu, you were going through some of those super quickly as well. Like, honestly, I was surprised. Yeah, Gene Genie, I mean... Oh, man, every time I'd be like, okay, yeah, I think I can pull ahead, Genie Genie, but just managed to keep keeping ahead, just blowing things out of the water, man. That is very impressive. I'm impressed, yeah. That was fantastic. Uh, I expected to do a lot worse. Yeah, well, I, I usually do a lot worse, too. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, your thoughts on the games, what what was hard, what was easy, are there any that you might want to go back to? I don't know, what do you think? A pox on whoever decided to put that many fighting games in there. <laughs> you, you can go ahead and blame me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible at fighting games under the best of circumstances. Putting me in a bad fighting game is just asking for a nightmare of pain. <laughs> I will oh, say thank you for the fighting games. <laughs> yeah, but you both beat Fighting Masters, and honestly, you both beat the wrestling game, which shocked me. I think the hardest thing about the wrestling game is figuring out how on how the hell to pin. Yeah. Once you figure that out, you're good. Uh, let's just say I never beat that challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I played it for so long. I played it for so long, and I just couldn't pin anyone. Oh. Yeah, and Gene Genie, how fast was it? Like 17 seconds and you got the pin? That was ridiculous. Uh, I just missed a button. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that works. <laughs> so, uh, any others? I know that Gene Genie, uh, the big thing uh, that got both of you hung up was NSYNC Get to the Show. Uh, God. Yeah, and Veritasu, there was a strategy for that. So, uh, which button were you pushing in order to uh, get rid of the non NSYNC members? B. The other button, A, gets rid of the NSYNC members and gives you a point. Oh, God, I didn't even think to try that. <laughs> oh, I, I never figured that out myself, but, you I know. I kept wondering, how are you supposed to beat this? Sometimes they don't throw enough up there for you to do yeah, uh, yeah, I was thinking that. I was originally just gonna have beat round two, uh, but then we found out that, like, when I let other people test it, they're like, this is too easy. I'm like, I can't beat this. Am I just terrible at video games? And they're like, this is so easy. So, yeah, we, we did round five, and essentially it was figure out the controls. Uh, and Gene Genie did figure that out. Well, because when we tested the game, with both Mikuyama and I both tested it and kept hitting A, and so we kept getting the in-sync guys, and they show up more often. So I didn't even know about hitting B for the not in-sync people, because you can get enough in-sync people across all five stages to beat it. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, what I think was really cool... Uh, Let's see, you both managed to do Wizard of Oz, uh, which surprised me there, because I gave you one of the, I, I feel it's an early-ish level in the game, but I feel is one of the more difficult ones, especially if you don't have the shoes that allow you to float. Uh, yeah, how, how did you feel about that one? I, I actually found that one to not be that hard once I realized that Staying below the top of the screen, you know, not up at the top of the flowers was the safer strat, provided that you can handle the floaty jumping controls and understand the weird platform hit detection that it has. Yeah, it's got issues. Uh, but yeah, yeah you those both... leaves aren't clear. Yeah, it's it's very difficult to know exactly where you need to land in order to actually land on a platform, but you both figured that out super quickly. So I've dealt with enough bad platformers in my time. I've kind of learned the, <laughs> how they program these things.
Ah, uh, well, okay. Any other thoughts on the gauntlet? Any uh, the, the, that gym power stage has the sloppiest controls I have ever played in any game, ever. Yeah, it... <laughs> the whole game is pretty much miserable. Uh, so I, I don't I'm know, not I might stay for the music. What's that? I might stay for the music, for gym power. Oh, the yeah, music but, but... is good. Yeah, yeah music... I... Oh, what's that? I said, yeah, the music's, the music's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Well, you know what? I think... Uh, I think we're just about at the point where I'm going to be jumping on to the next thing for today. Uh, so, thank you both again. Veritasu, I'm sad to say that you're eliminated, but hit me up. Uh, I'll grab you $25 in Steam games as well as Fateful Findings by Neil Breen. Uh, send me your address, add me as a friend on Steam so I can get that to you. But seriously, congratulations making it this far. You did fantastic. Well, well, thanks. And you know what? It's it's all worth it for that Neil Breen movie. That's that's the whole reason. You know, I just had to get that Neil Breen movie. 100% the reason. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a blast, and uh, I hope that the next time that y'all do Acoustic Grande, I can be a part of that because this has been just a ton of fun. I yeah. do have one question. Sure. How does Terminator work? We don't know. Which Poorly. one? Terminator challenge. How does that work? Uh, I don't know. You you beat it, though. <laughs> so good job. I still don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, I'll tell you what. I beat the... Because I, I played that earlier today, too. And I beat that first, like, flying guy on accident. And I still have no idea how. <laughs> oh, boy. But, but the second guy, you can angle your gun down to shoot him. Yeah, I... You you both beat him though, so that's the that's the important thing. You both managed to do that. I'm honestly really happy with how you both did there. I I don't know. There there's some challenges that I thought would take a lot longer, but you both plowed through pretty darn quickly. And Terminator is one of those. Yeah, I mean it's it's a terrible game, but you know I I, I don't know. It's a game that doesn't want you to beat it, not because it's hard, but because it's badly made. Yeah, it's kind of badly made. So, just so everybody knows, right now I'm moving over to uh, 